told me to do something, you know, a bit more for the culture. Um, so I'm a, from a family of singers. This has a bit of singing in it. We don't know what's going to happen. I got the speaking voice. Sometimes the singing voice comes out, sometimes it does. Okay. Um, I have the word S-H-I-T in this one. Everybody okay with that one? <laughs> it's Kia down here. All right. But it's a, it's a message. It's an important message. All right. Here we go. It's called Just For Me. Just for me. Them European beauty standards wasn't just for me, but it felt like it, and I didn't fit in. Curly hair always betraying the true African bloodline within. And while my mama always led with, we're blacker than our skin. There's back doors your granddaddy had to go through for me to proudly step in. The front. It was a front. And I was raised to be militant. Never let them white people tell you shit. But truly wearing black pride does not mean saying things like, make sure you pinch that baby's nose to keep it from getting too wide. It's always been a form of apartheid. A separation she couldn't see while still inside. A caste system she fed with a delusional pride, but it wasn't just for her. It was for everybody. And my sister's standing beside me. And my cousin Rika, who later described to me nobody believed we were blood. And I replayed the look on her face each time someone complimented me on how not black I was. And by default, called her hair rough. Made her feel not enough. Took her years to learn her curl pattern and through that, self-love. I walked a parallel path. The irony of my sister literally ironing my hair would almost make me laugh. If it wasn't so sad. And the crazy part is, it would never last. One step outside was looking like buckwheat in the front, Beyonce in the back. Mm -hmm. And I hated that. Always said, you talk white. You think you cute. You think that you can pass. My response was always, curly hair, don't care, kiss my ass. But I couldn't shake the feeling. The shadow they cast. Look at the blame they gave me. To understand the shame that plagued me and the way I had to learn that people would hate me, berate me, damn near excommunicate me, all because they couldn't relate to me. And I learned I had earned it for being birthed with something closer to what white people said was worth it. That represents its own burden. But I know that's not just for me. If there's a spectrum and I'm in the middle, I can only imagine what the far side would mean, what the darker side would mean. Coarser hair always telling, no room to hide in ethnic ambiguity. I know that's why they're wary of me. And so I move with humility for my daughter with the truth in her proof that shows our ancestry. That's black pride to me. Maybe that's what justice means, righting those wrongs through history starting with my family. And I hope that's not just for me, tender-headed. All right. You can find me on IG at Brown Paper Doll Poetry. You will see my daughter walking around with her poof somewhere out here. I appreciate y'all, appreciate you. Um, DJ Art is. Take it away, brother.